we're working with John right now. We're, we're designing our, our ship. We're, we're captains of the Republic. Yeah. And yeah. we need a bridge design. So uh, we're eliciting John's many talents to help pull it together. Yeah, the Excellent. creative, the creative uh, process. Uh, John comes back with, with uh, you know, with, with a whole bunch of uh, experience of designing, you know, spaceships for all the great, uh, you know, science fiction properties of all time. And uh, we're sort of tapping into that and sort of lending a, a little Kyoto Brothers wackiness to it. Yeah, what's great about it is I'm huge fans of these guys, always have been, and so it's kind of fun that we finally actually get to work together on something, which we wanted to do since, I don't know, the 80s, so it's exactly. hysterical. Yeah. And uh, what is very fun about it is um, uh, I was kind of drawing the interior as the exterior goes, but when I heard that uh, these guys are going to kind of pilot the Republic, I go, they've got to draw, draw their own bridge. It's the only way it's got to be. So. I'd say throw my sketch out and go with what they're doing. And the creative part is they know what the outside looks like. They kind of know uh, kind of what they want to do with it. It's going to match their personality. So some of the stuff that uh, the Charlie the Drawn, it's brilliant. It's just brilliant. So no, it thanks. will match perfect. No, what we want to do is, you know, use the, the basic structure of John. It's a solid sci-fi structure. And just to throw a little, a little tweak on it. It's a collaboration. Uh, and we have the benefit of working with one of the best guys in the biz. Yeah, I think what we'd like to bring a little flavor. I just have a little thing for this fun. Come again? You were speaking uh, Ontario. Yes. Yeah, I just want you know, just introduce that little Kyoto Brothers touch to it. Just make it, you know, it's a little, a little fun inside. Yeah. That I, little Kill Clowns thing. Yeah, we want to make it a little bit retro, going back to Buck Rogers and Flash Gordon with the big knobs. <laughs> And, and uh, the Tesla coil, electrical stuff. Everybody likes big knobs. <laughs> yeah, so now I guess we're discussing the, the bridge's color scheme, whether we're going to go chrome, black, and glass, or color. Mm -hmm. or color. A little silver on, on for... Well, you know, traditionally, you know, the, it's the high-tech uh, colors, you know, black is all, you know, black and, and, and grays, you know, traditional. It's military, you know, uh, battleship grays and stuff like that. And, and then the, the color usually came, the, uh, the source of the color would be the, the screens and the, the lights. Um, it's very reminiscent of what we did in Killer Clowns, uh, a black limbo with day glow, black lit, you know, uh, colors. Yes. So uh, it'll be a good mix. Uh, you know, we'll throw a little bit of that in there. So, so the, the Republic might have a little look like an old '60s funhouse. Yeah, Maybe a plaid console even for fun. No, yeah. really, we were thinking about marble columns and mm -hmm. gold, but it would look too Italian. We thought, yeah. so we wanted to kind of shy away from that. Yeah, yeah the Italian yeah. palazzo. That's, yeah. uh, uh, but yeah. that's that's from the Bronx. So Are you going to go with gauges as well, as opposed to screens? Like you really fun. pull it back to fun stuff? No, we can we can do that definitely. Yes, yes. This way you could hit them like this when they're not working. That that's ah, tactile, it's physical, you know. Yes. Well, that's yes. great. Well, that's the Italian way to fix things. Right. Bang, bang, bang. Asteroid rage happens all the time. <laughs> What's even more fascinating about what these guys do is the biggest complaint on Star Trek ships is, well, does that bridge really go with the shape of the outside? Does the two correlate together? To the micro, he's going to do it. It's going to be perfect. First time yeah. ever. Yeah, the I'm bridge on the inside is going to match the exterior of the ship. It's going yeah, to be see, amazing. I, I came from the planet of no perspective, so, uh, you know, it doesn't matter to me. You know, rulers, ah, no such thing. You know, it all just, you know, I'll try and freehand sketch it, and then maybe I hope John will fix it. Mm-hmm. And we'll have special things like the closet. It's like infinite closet. A lot of closet space. You open it up, it's like the killer clown spaceship. <laughs> it goes on for infinity. Well, that's this should be the first one to actually have a bathroom. No, no starship has a bathroom. Well, that's, that's interesting. Now, are they allowed to jettison that stuff into outer space? Uh, it gets dumped out the back. <laughs> yeah, it depends on the it depends on the space quadrant that you are in. It does. It yeah, I don't. Down. I don't yeah. want to be in that caravan. Yeah, in absolutely. The back. Or you don't want to be hitting light and warp speed and going through one of those little astro showers. No. Nasty. Literally, asteroid. It's an asteroid. Yeah. Black hole. There you go. <laughs> the, the absolutely. Oh, an encounter with the black hole. Yes. Oh my God. Indeed. This is what happens when you get directors and producers and artistic people all together. It's, it's endless. No, but this fun. is exciting because it's just you know just the four of us right here right now. But there's planets full of creative people above and beyond yep. you know what we do. So uh, it's going to be really exciting to to encounter them. Yes, I, I'd like to thank the admiral, Admiral uh, uh, William Shatner, for uh, putting this all together. I think yes. it's a fantastic idea. We're just so excited to participate.